Ooh, what's going on YouTube? It's Donnie Bialde. So, I'm bringing you another O-Knife. O-Knife. This is O-Knife life right here. So far, I am uh, using these products and I am absolutely loving their products. Um, my dog's knocked down. I had everything set up. I say they knocked down. This was the O-Knife Beagle. This is the O-Knife Beagle case. And it's sitting right over there now because that thing rode with me all day yesterday. And I used it about four different times after the review. And um, they have this thing where they say your last cut should be as good as your first cut. They're lying with that thing, man. That thing is still cutting. So we're going to get into this one. And I think the next one I'm going to do is the one I am personally waiting to do. I can't wait. And that's the Zilla. That's the big beast, man. That thing is over. So don't forget, Black Friday deal is coming um, 8 p.m. on the 22nd all the way to midnight, 11.59 on the 28th is their Black Friday deal. I'm going to put links to the Olight page so you can check out some of their amazing torches. Um, boop, boop, boop. And then I will put the link to the page for the knives also down there. So go to those links and check them out. I don't get anything. I, 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 don't, I didn't say this in the last video, the first video. Um, I don't get paid for this. Um, if you go onto their link and you buy their Black Friday deal, I get zero kickback. Zero. And that's why this is a painfully honest knife review, or usually they are. So far, I've been doing really good with these. Nothing's been painful. Um, but I literally get nothing, not that zip. The only thing I get is revenue from my videos. That's all I get. So that's why we're going to get into this thing, and we're going to be really, really tight with it. Um, but I have to say, I already played with it, and I, 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 haven't, I don't have a negative thing yet. I don't have a negative thing. Maybe I didn't test it yet. So maybe it'll show up, but go to the links, check out the Black Friday deal because the prices on these things, I think this one, I think this one is $69.95, $69.95, but wait till you see why that matters. Wait until you see why that matters. Um, so now if you've already seen my preview video where I did a preview video on all their stuff that I have, um, I would recommend that you watch that and then you can skip them all the uh all the other stuff because i'm going to talk about packaging tons of literature in the packaging packaged very very well i'm going to talk about how when you open it da, 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 there's all there's literature there i'm going to talk about when you open that literature there's a secondary thing there and you're thinking oh, i just took out the knife what could possibly be in this so you lift this up and oh thank you i love that so then inside here not only is your care manual but there is also, and I, I might have just pressed it down into the hole. Um, oh, there's the care manual, and here is, haha. Um, this is your little chamois cloth. It's their branded chamois cloth. Very, very nice. It's got two different sides on it. I really, really like it. So the package. So far, all of their pocket knives have come in these little nylon pouches. Um, it's like a padded nylon pouch. It's not the really cheap stuff, um, which is pretty good. Now, $69.99, you'd think, well, if you're adding a pouch and you're adding all this in the packaging, then it's got to be made of cheap materials. It's got to be because you can't afford to keep it going made of good materials. Wrong. So another thing, and you're going to hear me say this in all their videos that I do where I get a knife that has this, um, they offer one of these. And each one is different for each knife. This one's even a different color than the Beagle one. And what's really, really cool is every coin is knife specific. So this knife is that, that coin. That coin is this knife. Um, where the Beagle coin is the Beagle knife. So every one is different. And for all you military guys, you know, you know how, how we do it in the military. When you get coined, it is a, it's a big honor. It's a big honor. And like a lot of times, military guys will go to a bar, and what they'll do is they'll reach into their pockets and they'll pull out their coins, and whoever has the highest coin, like the best one, oh, this guy's got a four-star general. You win. Um, they don't have to buy their drinks for that night. Coining is a big thing in the military. 
So that being said, it's I, I love the honor of getting a coin with each one of these. I just think it's a little something cooler. It's a little something different. Here's the knife. This thing is super smooth. Now, it comes in with a black handle as well, G10. And with the black handle, nothing shouts law enforcement, a law enforcement carry knife more than this one with the black handle. With the orange handle, I'll tell you what, drop it in the woods. You'll find it. This thing is freaking sweet. The black coating on this is beautifully done. I love, I've done knives before where the black coating has left this line. Um, you'll see that in the off-grid Stinger XL, the black one, where it's black here, black, but those are just the hard lines. So you can see exactly where those beveling, uh, where that beveling is. That is just beautiful, man. I think that's a, actually, it's a really classy touch and I'm super happy that they do that. So now, Let's get into the specs on this knife. It's only 2.83 pound uh, ounces. This thing is super light. This is super light, super smooth. Um, the blade length is about three inches. The overall length is just under seven inches. Um, the handle material is G10. Rockwell is 58 plus two, um, so 58 to 60 Rockwell. Now let's get into this gorgeous, smooth yet textured. I don't know if we're going to be able to see that. Let's let's get a little bit of light on this situation. Um, you can see the texturing there, and you can see like the grain in the G10. They make it. It's a, kind of like a wood grain looking thing, but maybe we'll be able to see that better outside. It's textured just enough. Listen, you hear that? That's good grip, right? A bad grip just does this. Do, 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 do. This. That's good grip. So it's textured very, very well. It is. Um, it does run on ball bearings like all of their, uh, all of their pocket knives run. Um, very, very nice. But here's the deal. I told you it's sixty nine ninety nine, sixty nine ninety five, sixty nine ninety nine, just under seventy bucks, and it's going to be cheaper for the Black Friday um, deal. But it's, it's. <laughs> I mean, I'm looking at it, and I still have a hard time believing it for the price. It's N six ninety steel. This is a really really fantastic steel so here it is i believe the designation is actually on this side i think but n690 steel this thing is awesome now it's a buoy type knife it's a clip point right it's like a mini folding buoy and it's got a super long clipper which i love clip points i absolutely i'm a clip point guy right clips and drops are my are my knives um this thing, I think, is one of the more attractive knives they have as far as the cut. Um, this clip point is just freaking beautiful, man. Um, you'll notice how how it's jimped here, and then there's a little step right there. You can see that little line? It steps in, and that's where it starts your swedge. So this spine is unsharpened, but it brings you to an absolute needle point because of this really nice swedging right here and you can see where the thickness transfers and that is just awesome this is um is, look, having secondary beveling and um complex grinds it just makes makes the knife it, it just makes the knife so much prettier they have branding without having full billboards all over the place um and a lot of people appreciate that um i think this thing is gorgeous so we have to um, we have to test it. Well, let's find out first. See if I still have some hair left because I tested that beagle and that thing shaved me like a baby's butt. So let's see here. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> I barely got started. I look at how much hair that took off, man. I, I can't even show you guys. It's so much. Um, I barely touched it. I barely touched it. Created a nice spider there. Look at that. That is crazy. So what I found out so far from these guys is their knives are incredibly sharp. They have amazing edge geometry, great edge angles, um, just beautiful. So having a nice clip point, and it is jimped, like I said, all through here. So you can use your thumb jimping boop, um, to do a little stab action. And look at that, created a nice little black widow. Um, that's a serious serious wound channeling right there um you don't come back from black widows um but because it's a nice clipper you can dive right there and you can just pull and that thing is gonna grind away 
this knife is sweet, but we have to take it outside. All right, so now that we have this thing out in the sun, let's get a good look at this. I mean, tell me. Tell me if you haven't seen a prettier little clip point. This thing is absolutely beautiful. This is a gorgeous knife. I got some styrofoam kicking around yesterday. We cut a water bottle. Today, a little something harder to cut. Let's just see if we can't get a nice little, a nice little flick of the wrist. And wow, that was a pure cut. Now, obviously, this thing's three by three, so we're not going to plan on going all the way through it because that's that. But I broke it. I mean, it's just literally cutting. Let's see. It's pretty sweet, man. I got little, little white balls. I got little balls everywhere. <laughs> Don't repeat that to your mama. All right, so let's uh, let's field test. All right, so now I told you about the jimping here. I didn't tell you about the uh, the jimping around the top and the jimping on the flipper. Right, the jimping on the flipper is on both sides, um, giving you really, really good grip on the flip and then really, really good grip on the inside. So it works both ways. Also, there's jimping on here, on the top. When the, when the blade is deployed, this part is tucked under. So why would that be there? For that, right? So you can use it with the little hole to open. You can use it with the flipper to open, or you can use it with, um, with this little top piece. My hands are too big for that. But you can use it for that little top piece right there, and it all works out fine. Um, so let's do a couple of four-foot drops, and we'll see the bite from a gravity-fed drop. And this knife, is, this, knife, this, knife, this knife is so light, that's hard to get through. Let's do a couple hard downward throws. See if that the lock is going to collapse. We'll see if anything loosens. And we're testing the bite. And the bite is, I mean, as advertised with a clip point. That just goes right through. Um, half inch nylon rope. Let's do a little push cut. What do you say? Let's bring you guys a little closer. Get a little closer. Don't be shy. All right, here we go. With it extra dry. Um, all right, so here we go. Right there. Push cut, half inch nylon rope, easy money. The, I can't get over like how pretty this knife is. But here's here's one of the good things. Oh, crap, crap, I dropped my knife. I dropped my knife, where? Oh wait, I can literally see it's underneath a leaf right here. And I can see the orange sticking out. That's good, man. That's really good. All right, so let's do a uh, let's do a tire puncture test for that uh, for that old country song. Man, look at this! That just tears right through, saws right through. Not so bad. We're gonna try the test that we tried with the other with the beagle. You can see how good the beagle did. Remember, it's an extremely light knife, so it is not made for chopping. But we're gonna see how much we can get through on um, on this extension cord. It's a nice thick extension cord. Oh man, I just want to see if we can get through. All right, we, well, this line right here was from the other knife. So we got through two and a half of those cables on a little downward. Let's check that edge. Oh no. All right. All right. It's beautiful. This thing is perfect, man. Um, not a scratch, not a dent, not a ding. It's just really, really good. You know what we should do? You know what we should do? <laughs> first try baby <laughs> so it actually it, i just had a feeling there's something about it was feeling like i bet this clip point gets around really nice and it does it does get around really nice it gets around town baby all right so here we go one of my favorite tests because i've had so many failures with it um wow wow that didn't even ask that was so nice. Let's see. Bam. 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 Am I still in frame? I'm just walking away with it, guys. This stuff is pretty pretty tough to cut. It's not like the easiest crap. I don't know. It's some kind of plastic, right? It's like a plastic fiber. And it cuts so nicely where so many others have failed. Um, 
that's a good one. So we got these thorn bushes over here. And I, I like to swat them with bigger knives because they're actually big. Listen, listen. That's wood, man. That's not a little thorn tree. That's not a thorn bush. So, and these thorns are nasty, man. Let's see. Let's see if we can't cut through one of these. Oh, I get so nervous doing this test because these thorns are huge. <laughs> All right. I'm a sissy. Let's uh let's put you down though so I can get a better a better hold. Alright. Here we go. I'm afraid of this one. And if I hit it this way, it's gonna come down on me. Oh, oh here we go. Alright, that one's out of the way. Let's see what kind of damage we can at least put into this. Oh, it's wobbly. It's far too wobbly. Oh wow. Okay, so I had no idea. Um, it's really wobbly and it cut pretty much all the way through. I didn't know it did that. Uh, that surprised me. Look at how far that cut on this thing that moves and it's hard on a freaking really lightweight sub four inch blade. That's a good test. That's a good test. Speaking of good tests, we're all out of them. Ha <laughs> ha All right, so worst video ever. So we are going to get over to the second stump and we're gonna see if we can make a little kindling with this and see how it would do if this was our knife during a fire. Remember, this is, I would consider more of a personal protection EDC. Um, it's gonna cut open anything you want, but because of this sweet clip point, I can really see this blade, um, really see this blade doing well uh, for personal protection. I mean, of course, it's going to be great for things like um, opening boxes and shredding up, you know, letters and things like that. Um, but what about if it's all you have? What if it's all you have and you're in the woods? Well, it's got to work, right? So far, so good on the liner lock. Get all the way down. Okay, we got some nice knots in here. But this is a super steel. So, bam! Wow! That took that knot in half with, I mean, extreme prejudice. That was freaking nice. I expected a little bit more resistance on the knot. I really did. But the edge geometry is fantastic. Look at this thing. It hasn't, it hasn't closed on me once, which, I mean... There we go. Okay, finally got one. I was going to say, which I've never had with a liner lock. They're supposed to close. That's their job. When you're banging on it, it's going to move. So now I got too much of the blade into the wood. So that's I'm hitting it right at the lock. Let's see. Now this is the hard part because this is where the knots are. And I just went right into one. Let's see. I'm running out of, I'm running out of steel here. But it's cruising right through now i was just jamming on the tip of this knife and i mean jamming on the tip of the knife knots 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 i'm not kidding <laughs> all right let's see i'm gonna feel for warping no warping on a on a blade like this that's what you would that's where you would get a warp is something like that not on this not on this this is real steel boys and girls n690 is no joke um, I mean, it holds, it holds this thing. It's, I just can't, I just can't get over like how much I like looking at it. I think it's just really, really attractive, man. And if you guys know anything as a designer, I mean, as me, as a designer, I really, really appreciate well-designed knives. This is a very well-designed knife. Um, I have to give kudos to whoever over there at O Knife drew this up. This is a gorgeous knife the design i can put all three fingers here and then still grab my fourth finger right there so you can see i'm on the grip i have a full four fingers touching this touching this body and it's awesome again they use um some blue hardware with the um the pivot and let's get it and i think the blue is such a nice touch I mean, look it's just really really good looking and then the pocket clip is black to match the uh 
black to match the steel. Um, it's just really, really nice. It is a one hand open, one hand close. Um, this thing is awesome. So I'm very happy that today this will be in my pocket. Um, and I can see this being in my pocket a lot. Wait till that Zilla comes. That Zilla is no freaking joke. But this guy right here, shoo -wee. All right, so that is the second O-Knife knife between this and the Beagle. Man, I'll tell you what, winner, winner, chicken dinner. I love it. All right, that's it for this one. I'm about to roll. I am Donnie B all day. Until next knife.